I guess, taken to, to start. I imagine you got to the mat a little quicker than, than you thought you might have to start, but just kind of take me through your match and how that felt to, to get the pin in front of everybody. Uh, I felt really great because that's the first, well, first dual pin, I guess. Um, I've had a pin, I guess, in one of our earlier tournaments, but in the duel, it's like crazy, especially bad when there's so many people there. It's like the noise, the, like, it was just an exciting moment. Especially with the uh, two weights before me, Chores Bradley and Dayton, they both lit the crowd up too, so it was nice being able to add to that. What were you doing during their matches? Well, Troy, I didn't realize, usually I have like 15 minutes to kind of <laughs> go through my routine. And then when Troy came running in the locker room, I was like, oh crap. So then I had to hurry and throw my singlet on and I ran out there because I knew Dayton was going to run the score pretty quick too. So routine was pretty much the same, just a lot quicker than it usually is. So it was nice being able to go out. But I didn't really have to prepare mentally or anything because Troy and Dayton did that for me, keeping the crowd cheering as much as they were. So it was nice. Um, I know going in, um, I wrestled him multiple times my senior year of high school and wrestled him in the state finals, actually. So I knew kind of what to expect. I knew that I was going to go and have to be aggressive and go out there and score a lot of points. And I knew towards the end of the match that um, the points would be there, my shots would be there. Does that, does that add to this rivalry when you do have guys across that mm -hmm. you've wrestled? Maybe through elementary yeah, and high school sure. and all that. Mm -hmm. Multiple guys on the team that are from OU have are re are from Oklahoma, and we have multiple guys too. So yeah, it adds to the rivalry, especially when like you're in high school and you know they're going to OU, you're going here, and then when you wrestle them in Bedlam duel, it uh, makes it a lot more competitive. For both of you, what does a a, a dominant win like this do? just kind of spring, springboard you in the, in the next week of preparation and everything goes in and get ready for Iowa? Um, a lot. It does a lot for our team, for sure. Especially, like, you've been, like, the energy for the rest of this week after a duel like that is going to be great. It's going to be really helpful in the practice in the mat room, training-wise. So I don't, I don't think there's a better way to end this week, going into next week, for, for us to wrestle Iowa. Definitely do a lot. I think it just shows at the we're starting to get to the end of the season and into postseason that we're just getting better every single duel and every single week. We're doing the right things and we just need to keep doing what we're doing and not make certain things too much like bigger than they need to be and just keep sticking to the process. Teague, when you got out on the mat and all the crowds going crazy and stuff, just kind of what was that, that like for you? Did you take a moment or, or anything? Um, kind of a little bit more just like not trying to get like too too like too like hyped up and kind of just take a deep breath and focus on what I need to focus on. But yeah, the, the huge crowd definitely is nice to wrestle in front of. And you can feel the energy when we had like those three guys go out there and get bonus points. It's huge. And you just feed off that. Else there? One more for either of you that wants to that wants to jump in. What is uh, what has Coleman Scott provided to this uh, to this team this year? What's his his value in the in the wrestling room for you guys? Um, it's a lot. It's just more of like the standard of every day. You got to come in and be intense, and even when you're having a bad day, that you got to pick it up and get better. And it's just the consistency and just the getting better every single week and knowing what to expect and that you just can't have bad days. You gotta go in there with an attitude and demeanor every single day of practice, ready to go. I think he's added a lot too. He has the energy that I don't know if any other coaches really have. He, he he adds a lot to our team. and Of course he knows what he's doing. He came from the head coaching position already, so he knows what he's doing. And the energy part's huge, especially when you're getting low on weight and he's constantly like drilling at you, making sure that you're doing what you need to do and putting the work you need to put in, so. I wouldn't want anybody else in his position this year.